All right, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back into Terraforming Mars on Elysium, my favorite map. Oh, I'd love an interplanetary cinematics run. Let's go. All the steel. Uh, something to use the steel on. A discount. <sighs> not, not that good actually. Um. we can get energy from this but then we get more steel that we just like can't use we could always build the city onto olympus but that kind of sucks we could also experimental forest for the cards and then city kind of in between them we could wasp up for more cards i don't know why it wouldn't let me deselect there do you see this do you, do you, i mean <laughs> that was some buggy stuff. I don't know. Let's just play a game. Um, uh, greenery. Where would we even put the greenery? I think you get the cards. I think you get this. You have a bunch of steel. Potentially, we want more cards. This is really helpful. This is really cool. This is really cool. Yeah, let's just go for it. Um, more cards. That's going to get us five cards total three off the top and then some plant types nitrolithic and then bushes we ended up getting venus lagrange lagrange helps with the science and and yeah it's not that good but it is what it is we'll go ahead and buy an energy income and yeah there's a one card spot at the bottom and up here I'm tempted to just put Noctis City down for the two adjacencies here, but then we're kind of stuck. So maybe it's best to actually put it here and come back for a city later. Um, in which case, you know what? Let's go get that card draw then. Maybe we'll get something interesting. Again, we have two science tags in hand with four required for our card. We just got IO Mining Industries. I'm going to go ahead and even though this is quite expensive, I get $2 back on it. So I'm going to draw two more cards. And I actually really like that carbonate processing. So there we trade one energy for three heat. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about IO Mining. I doubt that we're going to have enough to play it. I don't have any Earth tags to go with Luna Metropolis. Um, but at least I have a Venus terraforming card. How about that? How about it? Uh, what do we need? I think we need heat. Just push the heat up. Maybe we can make bushes happen sooner rather than later. There's a science tag. I think we just take that and we stay lean. So then we buy, buy the science tag. And then do we buy Lagrange? Because we, we don't have anything else we can do this gen. So we may as well Lagrange and really go in on, on card draw here. Um, ice asteroid, I like that. Black polar dust would have been nice to, to get that. This is our third science tag if we want it. But we could still get research or something. Let's take our money to the next gen. Cheap science. Cheap science. I am missing one heat to get my bump. Med lab. An event for oxygen. I do have tags. So this is 11. Then that makes it 14. And then I don't have quite enough for you. So in that case, we do this event. Then we get the medical lab. And then next gen, we'll get the quantum extractor. I uh, I think this is okay, actually. It's not it's not that great, but like it's, it's pretty okay. Considering I'm about to get... A couple different bumps that I care for. Let's do a V. Uh, actually, we could do we could work on nitrolithic moss by getting an ocean. I don't know that adaptation is that important, but I do have nitrolithic moss available if I can get two plants now. And I, but I could just get the oceans here. Uh, it's for the bushes. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. This this is probably better though, but I don't have I do have energy tags. 
So let's go crazy on energy here. Fusion power. Oh no, I need to sell a card now. I need to sell two cards, but that's okay. I'm gonna sell our Jovian, Isle Mining. It's just too expensive and it's too late. And then we'll sell Security Fleet and then we're gonna get Quantum Extractor. So with that said, how are we doing? Economically speaking, very bad. We only got three TR, six income. That's nine. And we do get money back on events and we do have a discount on space. So like that's gonna help us get back to parity, but usually we want 15 to 20 income and we have nine. We're, we're like half of what we need. Uh, so income, we're very poor. However, I usually just want four or five heat and energy combined. I have 12 right now. That's very helpful. We also have nine cards in hand, and we have a little bit of an, a card draw mechanic with a lot of science already played, and we're all, like already making bank here. We also have some good terraforming cards like Giant Ice Asteroid and Towing a Comet. So I think that we're actually in a pretty good spot, all things considered. Uh, and with that extra energy coming over, we did get... Excuse me, did it not? Okay, that that there was an animation glitch there. Did you see that? It, it said that we only had, uh, that we had like none. It said that we had like one energy there. Another city would be nice. I think we can do it. Let's get this heat bump for the heat income. And then, I don't know that this is just smart at all, but I kind of like the idea of black polar dust. I don't know why I would. The ocean is helpful. It gets us closer to nitrolithic moss. And, but like, why don't I just wait here? Cause it gives me heat income. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, it is minus one income, but at the same time it's uh, plus one TR. So it's pretty neutral on, on negative money income. So I think that's okay. Now we have 16 heat again. That's pretty good. Let's start getting help on Venus. We do have Venus infrastructure that we could play, but and this would be a good time to do it only because we have sister planet available. It's just that it's so expensive at $21. But hey, let's 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 tab over here and stay away from Nitrolithic Moss because we know we need a lot of Venus help. We'll play this, we'll get it bumping. And then I can't sell enough to really make it work. But after I get Sister Plant Support next turn, I can also get Venus Governor. And that will be pretty cheap, actually. So I can probably get Towing a Comet first. Um, and that'll get us the last plant that we need to do the Nitrolithic. And anyway, a lot of cool things are possible. I don't think that we're being too greedy, but I would, I would like to up the greed. Aerial mappers and floating habs both allow me to throw things onto um, my Venus terraforming infrastructure. I would love to play one. I'm gonna play sister plant support as planned. I can play Venus governor as planned. I'm gonna play aerial mappers and then I'm gonna use aerial mappers for increasing my extractor balloon timing that makes me feel pretty good i got business network out of that and then soon we're about to unlock bushes and then we'll also have nitrolithic moss pretty much at the same time so i think that we're actually heading somewhere as good if you'd believe it heat is going up ludicrously fast so i don't even know that i would play dionysus asteroid for anything but the oceans uh, I'm still going to help Venus move along. I don't hate getting a event that will get me money back and I have a discount on it. I don't hate getting some TR to get to 63 TR. I think Adapted Lycan is just too late. Like, I have better terraforming cards to play. In fact, let's play this one first. We might get something good. We're getting three cards out of this draw. Lava tip settlement, not too bad. 
Let's play our floating halves. That means that for $2 per turn, we get a Venus bump, right, with our Venus infrastructure that we have set up. I still want this pretty badly, but I can already get bushes. So I guess Nitrolithic Moss is just not that good yet. Let's do a card draw thing. Uh, Extreme Cold Fungus is unplayable, so fine. We get $2 back on this event. But like right now we have a perfect... Like why would I play this event for $5, two extra heat income, but I'm getting two heat bumps every gen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like I'm already perfect without even considering this bump and everything else. Maybe if I get the card that allows me to convert you can do one more Venus bump here. Uh, convert heat production to money production. Maybe there's value. Space vent, that's good. I don't have enough floaters. Greenhouses is almost always good. Heat bump. Mass converter, okay. Boom. Boom, boom. I mean, we're just kind of really pushing on on Venus, we're pushing on the heat, but we don't have much ocean. We don't have much oxygen. Let's go for a card draw here. A cheap ocean. I would rather have a cheap one than an expensive one. And more space events, lovely. Okay. Um. I feel like I can play Towing a Comet, but it's better to play Permafrost and get the Nitrolithic now. I could play Greenhouses, but I don't have to. I have 14 energy production, so I can certainly give some up. I don't have a science resource, so Research for Life is not that important to me. Again, I don't need that space event. Even with another discount on it. It's only $5, but like, why? Um, okay, time to get help on the oxygen. Even if I have lots of plants. Air scraping is not so bad. Venus magnetizer is like incredibly good though. One, two, three, four, five. Basically, this is enough. I don't need this. A cheap city could get us an extra point, but I don't. I don't think I need it. There's better cities for us to buy. Um, like, do I put a dome crater here? I don't have any one point animals. Okay, so like, I think I play towing a comet here. And then I think I get the domed crater and this gives up one adjacency. This gets me more and then going here. I think I just maximize the number of available adjacencies. Get some money back. I mean, I can play greenhouses right now for an extra, but let's not. A mine, way too late for that. This is not a metals run. Then we keep pushing the Venus. And then I have to play my other Venus card. Because I have so much energy production to spare. And I don't know that searching for life is good. But let's buy it and try it. We killed Ganymede Colony. Honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, more oxygen? Sure. This is some cool stuff, but I'm going to live and let die here. At least one heat bump. At least one greenery. I don't need more Venus. I don't think I do, at least. I'm so close on Venus that the government can basically get me over the line if we have to. 
right? Because we're going to be one step away. I think I need these oceans. Or I need this orbital deflector. And then I can get a card draw next turn for $2 instead of a bump. Let's play the giant ice asteroid. Get the card. We've overdone the heat. As expected. Lava tube could go here. Could also go here. Getting a bunch of TR at the end would be nice. Let's play the lava tube because at least it's an extra green, like a plant. And I have fifteen dollars of space. Search for life. Nothing, but we're killing cards that I don't care for anyway. Let's hold on to our money. We need a lot of oxygen. And I only have one ocean in hand. So, oxygen up. Advanced alloys. An ocean that is... The fact that I get $2 back on it means that it costs 18 It costs the same. But I guess I'd rather play it. Because I can use my titanium on it. Um... Yeah, okay. Let's look at a card. That could be an oxygen bump. And a card draw. $16 for an oxygen bump, though? Like, I feel that that's not so good. But maybe it is. Maybe it's okay, actually. Um... So two more titanium. Play the comet for this titanium. Then let's get our card draw from Rigolith. Research outpost. Way too little too late. Venus bump. Last ocean with our titanium. Uh... Microbes. I'm worried because I have to get two Venus bumps from this. Which means that I can buy a card. Venusian insects. Not bueno. So we lose again, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five cities in play. So, like, that's not so bad. But, yeah, I just have all this extra heat, basically. So, you greenery, you get the plants. We sell all the cards that we don't need. I would have loved to go for this TR card. And then greenhouses. And then one oxygen shy. Wow. Wow. If I had... Uh... I don't know. I got Rigolith Eaters from the card draw, right? No, I paid for Rigolith Eaters. So, yeah. So, I don't... Um... Wait, cards played uh, chronological. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't need this extra card draw from this. So I could have loaded this for a Venus bump. Had I done one more oxygen bump than Venus bump, we would have had enough cuz I would have been able to afford one more of these Venus bumps. Well, search for life anti-grav. Well, that's that's hilarious. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that is, you know, and then 60, oh man, you're killing me, you're killing me, you're like, oh my game, game, don't, don't do this, this over here, this over here, 
Oh, I don't even want to know. We only have seven points on cards and two weak cities. I don't know, man. I don't feel so good about this one. The points were bad, but... I mean, come on. We were one step away from a full terraform and one step away from 63 TR. And we had 32 extra heat on the last gen, and then more so at the end again. So, like, had I gotten, like, energy can be converted to dollars. Got I, had I gotten heat income can be converted to money income. Like, we had some good outs, but it just didn't happen. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.